And that research that was done, that test that was done in Australia 15 years ago, 20 years ago, where they came out of it and went, ah, the people who didn't have back pain, they used their abdominal muscles. This is, they found this and they did a test. People who didn't have back pain after doing some movement were the ones whose abdominal muscles had fired. So there's all this, ah, oh, strengthen your abdominal muscles to prevent back pain. Rampage now. But what they, what, then they like rechecked with people, and people with really strong abdominal muscles don't have less back pain, actually, in whatever, proportion, whatever population they're checking. And when you look closely at what the original um, study showed, it was not only that they engaged their abdominal muscles, but that they engaged them early, before they began the movement. And it, they weren't necessarily that they engaged them a lot. It wasn't the strength of the abdominal muscles, it was the timing of it and the sequencing of it and the recruiting of support before they did the movement that let them organize what was happening in this way. So we took this little bit of information, we went, mm, strong abdominals, when in fact it's not about the absolute strength of the muscle, it was about the timing and the recruitment and the blah, blah. So, which is another reason I'm just not fan, a fan of getting crazy about muscles because they're so much more complex than we ever think they are. Uh, or, or then we can begin to really integrate. And that the muscles are certainly important, but, but what anybody's going to use to find the support they need will depend.